So we've been having a little bit of trouble with our dishwasher. Uh, it's not washing the dishes. And neither am I. So I decided that I would fix it. <laughs> Today we're going to we're going to fix the dishwasher. So this dishwasher is a Maytag MDBH969AWW2. That's from like 2011, I believe. We got it second hand. Uh, so we didn't purchase it new. Uh, but it's only 8 years old and it went kaput. From the research I've done online, I found a lot of people complain about the same issue and that it all comes down to corrosion and short circuiting in the, uh, the control panel switch pad up here. Uh, this was very, very dirty and uh, there was a number of short circuits. So after some head scratching and some internet research and some meter more meter probing I uh, was able to deduce what all of these pins do with uh, in regards to how it controls the dishwasher so this piece of plastic this plastic control pad that has your uh, the buttons to select the cycle and such um, this whole set minus the control board is 150 bucks so you're basically paying 150 dollars uh, for these push button switches so we are going to replace those push buttons with some momentary normally open push buttons from Amazon link in the description source of information I found during my research was the uh, technician's paper that comes with the appliance. Uh, unfortunately it was not the first place I looked. Uh, of course I went to Google. In the technician's sheet it, it, it tells you how to check the keypad operation and it tells you how to uh, determine if it's the keypad or if it's the circuit board. So after going through the test procedure for that, which is really simple, you just unplug the keypad uh, you, you turn it off, you unplug the keypad, turn it back on, and if it starts the drain cycle, your control panel is good and your keypad is bad. So uh, it goes through all of that here in the specifications. But what it, the, the important part here is it tells you what pins do what functions. Like for example, if you want to drain it, you jump from pin 12 to pin 3. So my solution is to just put a momentary button between the pins listed here uh, for certain cycles. And we're going to do the normal cycle, we're going to do the heated dry, and we're going to do a button to cancel it and drain it, and a button to start the cycle. So, uh, and with this also, we are going to put in a, uh, an LED in line so that we can see what, um, so we can see what cycles we have selected. So I encourage you, step one, look at the included Here literature. is the schematic that we are going to do uh, pin from pin one to pin 14. So these are the pins on the circuit board, uh, pin zero through pin 14. I'm gonna run these uh, DuPont pin jumpers off the pins into some switches and some LEDs and get this bad boy back up and running. So we'll get the holes drilled in here and get the switch mount, switches mounted. Okay, so I got everything soldered up and put in place uh, for a test run here. I can show you uh, normal, 
normal and heated dry is default. So we can turn the heated dry off and we can start. And it starts. Uh, you might be able to hear it filling up, but it has started. Then I can cancel and press cancel again to drain it. And that's all the cycles we need to operate our dishwasher. So uh, this one is fixed. A slight snafu here with, um, uh, I didn't realize the switch and LED would interfere with this piece here. So I just trimmed out where I have my, my bits and pieces. So if the fun never ends. So there it is all put back together. Do normal. We'll leave heated dry on. Close it up and we'll sneak in and press the start button. And it's starting. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate everybody tuning in. And hopefully the time I put in can keep some money in your pocket. And don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, and we will see you in the next one.